Welcome to the Bet MGM studio and another edition of Titans All Access. I'm Mike Keith with my Titans radio broadcast partner, Dave McGinnis. Titans headed to Houston to play the Texans for the second time in two weeks. Coach Mack, how does that affect preparation? Well, you know the people. You know the, you know the people. You know the personnel. Now, they're going to have some different personnel than when we played them the first time. These sandwich games, especially sandwich division games, are always very, very interesting because you know these personnel very well. After having just played them, you know, you know them even better. And so the things that you didn't do well, you try to emphasize how to get over the top of your opponent on that. The things they did well against you, how do you keep them from doing it this time? The Titans did not run the football well in the first matchup against the Texans, but last week against Seattle, 31 overall rushes for 162 yards. What did the Titans do better? Well, they were getting movement off the line of scrimmage. I mean, that's where run game starts. You know, even with the great running backs in the league, they have to have help to get to that second and third step. We had that consistently, especially, Mike, in the first three quarters of the last game. All right, let's take a look at a couple of Derrick Henry's best runs yeah. as we go beneath the surface, powered by Microsoft. Here we go. Yeah, this first one here, this is this is reduced splits. They bring the motion in by the receiver. This is three by one. This is a this is a true eight-man front. This is really a nine-man front. Because if you'll watch, if you'll if you'll watch this person right here, he's gonna be involved in the run front too. Here's the here's the only guy, these two guys right here really have no bearing on this on this run, because this is getting ready to be an outside zone with some combo blocks over here to this side. This is an outside zone. It's going to start here and it's going to break here, but the combo blocks are going to come in here. But this is a this is a massive, I always like doing this, Mike. This right here is a massive defensive wall. So what they've done is, is they're saying you're not going to run the ball into this defense. Let's see what happens here. As we get started, the, the, the thing that happens, first of all, you get a nice push. You get a nice push. You see where Derek comes up to the and shoulders that, that scrum, and we'll see it right here as, as we get to the end zone. We feel stop it, Mike, right there, just about the time he hits the scrum. Here's what I'm talking about the scrum is right here. This is the scrum. This is going to be the scrum right in here. Now just stop it right there. This is pretty, this is pretty bunched up right here. Now, what you're looking for is initial push to get Derrick Henry, you always hear me say in the broadcast booth, to a second or third step. Now they got him to his third step. Watch him use a shoulder to bunch through the scrum, and then he bursts forward. This is really an excellent, excellent run against a loaded front. Good blocking by Chris Moore there. Traylon Burks getting out there and helping. Derrick Henry for 12 yards on that play. Next play as we go to the second half, we're going to take a look at a completely different play. This is a completely different play. This is an eye formation. This is an eye formation with a tight end. Now, what we're going to do with this tight end, we're going to bring this tight end across here in motion. And when the tight end comes in motion, what they're going to do, they're going to change their, they're going to change their shades on the defensive line. They're going to shift their defensive front this way. And then we're going to run a, a, what's called a split dive. And a split dive is to work against the eye control of the linebacker. So the split dive is going to look like this is going to here and here you split off of the eye formation but out of this then it's all up to the running backs vision this is a vision run by the running back let's take a look at it Mike and coach back a lot of times you think oh the guy lined up at fullback has gone wrong but that's what he's supposed to do split dive all you're, right you're, you're working on you're working on the on the eye control of the linebackers behind the line of scrimmage once they start once they start in this split dive Take, stop it right there. All right, you can start, you see, see what happens with that split dive. It took the linebacker clear out here to the backside, but that's why I say it's a vision run for the running back because now what he's got to do, everything's balled up here, but he has to have vision to see this cutback lane. And Derrick Henry does a great job of this, and we'll see it from the end zone also when, when we run. Gain of nine. Gain of nine yards, but watch, watch the split dive, and you'll, you'll, when the, when it, as soon as they start to split, stop it. See what the split does? The split right here holds Bobby Wagner. One of the best linebackers in the league. Now, all of this is bunched up right here, but Derrick Henry is looking now for the key block. He's looking for my cutback hole because he knows the split dive has taken this man out of the front. So watch, watch Derrick Henry. Watch what his eyes just just take a look, take a look at his eyes right here and watch him when he cuts back. There it is, right there. He, he, cut a, he cut a three hole skip back there to the backside for nine yards. Very well designed, but this is Derrick Henry. Great vision and a, and a great jump. This is a jump cut. 
And a jump cut for a big, tall back is really something special. Good stuff.